Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and this is Technoholic. Let's fix your saving habit in Microsoft Word forever. And how are we gonna do that? By enabling autosave functionality in your Word document. Autosave means Word saves your document automatically all the time. But here is a catch. It only works if your file is saved in OneDrive or SharePoint. And on the top of it, there is another major advantage of enabling autosave, which is version history. If you want to know what version history is all about, I would say it is the next level functionality that is going to give you freedom to roll back to any version if by mistake you deleted something or you would like to roll back. To know more about autosave, check out the video link that I have added in the description of this video. Okay, so now let me quickly show you with the help of an example how we can enable autosave in Microsoft Word. Okay, so here you can see I have opened a Word document and you know, whenever I need to save it, I need to press Ctrl and S to save or maybe I can go here on the top and I can click on save. But let's leave this anxiety of pressing Ctrl and save and give this functionality to the software itself. For that, all you need to do is you need to turn it on. And maybe in your case, if you have not connected with your OneDrive, then you will see the prompt of signing in or it's gonna show you something. So what we need to do here in order to make sure that this functionality work is that you need to go here on file and then go here on save as. And then here you're gonna see all the OneDrive that you have connected. So make sure that you are saving that document to OneDrive. Or maybe what I can do here is let me save as this document uh, with another name for example I'm gonna say one and then I'm gonna save it to my desktop and then I'm gonna click OK and now here you can see the document having name one is saved in my desktop now if I hit auto save it is offering me to save it to one of my OneDrive and now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select that okay I need to move this document to this OneDrive so I'm going to choose this one and there we go so it's going to create a copy of it and that's how you can see here now it not only going to have this autosave functionality but version history as well so that's all guys from my side in this video I hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure you like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to productivity and I will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye